I did a bit of speech and drama when I was younger and had to recite a few poems and feshes and things like that. And then uh, when I was in transition year in school, we did the Pirates of Penzance and I put in a lot of time and effort to be part of the course. I was then told a week beforehand that I had to mime. Um, so I was really just a plank standing at the back of the stage, not really knowing what to do. Yeah, obviously before I got into this line of work, I was actually a street performer myself. You might remember me. I was a fire eater and blower, but uh, obviously that didn't work out. So uh, I found myself in this line of work, but that, that was my main involvement. Uh, my last time I performed was in 97, was it, Steve? Yeah, I think so. But, yeah, yeah, but uh, obviously I burned all my hair off and uh, <laughs> that ended it really, to be honest. I can't afford to lose anymore. So yeah, that, that's my sole involvement. I think uh, my one and only acting performance came in, in primary school in a modern rendition of Cinderella. Um, that, I was pretty bad at that, so that, that didn't last very long. Um, but I did perform in the Royal Festival Hall um, as, a, oh. as a singer. Oh. In London, yeah. Um, that was only a one-off performance as well. Um, <laughs> you back. That's why. Sorry? You weren't asked back. No, I wasn't asked back, uh, Gavin, no. But uh, that's as far as it goes, really. I wouldn't be the world's best singer or actor. That's probably why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. I think the Arts Festival brings so much to Galway. For the two weeks that the Arts Festival is on, it, it creates such a, a great buzz in town. Um, such a great atmosphere, there's so many things to do, so many people to see. So it's just, it's just an all-round fantastic fortnight, really, for the city. I always look forward to the, um, the street entertainment. You know, during the wintertime you can run down Air Square in five minutes, but it seems to take you nearly an hour during the Arts Festival. Um, there's so much to do, so much to see, and so many unique events, and, and uh, artists just, um, I suppose, just displaying what they're best at doing. And um, yeah, there's just so many things you wouldn't see in a every day-to-day -day kind of circumstance, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an interesting walk. I think I'm particularly looking forward to seeing Sheik performing this year at the F in Fisheries Field. Um, I think a few people will be, will be remembered the 80s, probably me more than, than a few other uh, the younger guys in the team, uh, but I think there's a big group of us going to see them perform, and I'm sure there'll be a bit, bit of a dance-off uh, during the during the live performance, um, as a few of the guys that, um, rate themselves as, as dancers. Um, I'm also looking forward to seeing Michael Winslow, uh, the comedian who was in Police Academy, I think. So hopefully uh, we'll learn a few, few, a few impersonations of him uh, that night. Yeah, uh, f yeah, I think I'm looking forward to seeing uh, James Vincent McMurrow and uh, Lisa Hannigan. And uh, as uh, Gavin already commented, I'm just going down and seeing what's going on down the streets. I'm sure there's always something interesting. So I think uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. For a sporting event, you know, it's 15 aside and you know what's going to happen, generally you know the rules, but there isn't any rules in art, anything goes and it's how you interpret it, I think it's, um, yeah, it kind of knocks you out of your comfort zone a little bit and I think that's why uh, cultural events such as the Arts Festival are so important to Ireland.